Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about how to measure your head and we're going to talk about hat sizes. There are basically, when you look inside your hat, there's a few different overwhelming hat sizes. Okay, look in my hat here. We've got USA sizes, UK sizes, a 7. Even the guys in the hat shop don't know what that 7 is. And 61. Okay, six, 61 at the end is European centimeters. It's universal. Okay, the one at the beginning here, USA, is only for America. It's like 6 and 7 eighths, 7 and 1 eighth, 7 3 quarters. Okay, so... You've also got UK sizes in the middle, which nobody uses. People in UK are like, what? Uh, I never heard of that. They use centimeters. Um, everybody uses centimeters because it's more precise. Inches are not a good way to measure your head. Um, if you go to the nearest eighth of an inch, yeah, it's good, but we always have to get a size chart out because we never use inches. Uh, everything is done in centimeters in the hat business. So yeah, if you're going to measure your head, here's the easiest way to do it. Okay. You get a tape measure, and you like my new reading glasses? This is my friend Alex sort of gave me these, they're amazing, from the dollar store. Okay. Here's the deal. You get a tape measure or a string, and you measure the string later. It's at the widest part of your head, which is your brow bone. Put it at the brow bone and right above the ear, just above it, not touching the ear, but just, you know, almost touching it barely touching or something. And then pull the tape as tight as you want your hat to feel, like nice and snug, but not, you know, brutally snug, just a little snug. Okay, measure it, and I want you to measure it and repeat it. Stop, bring it down, start again, be very precise, and do this four times. Trust me, don't skip this step. Um, every time you measure it usually comes out a little differently, so you've got to measure it a few times and average it out. It's just like taking your temperature, I say. It's usually a tiny bit different every time. Measure it very precisely. Don't tell me 23 and a half inches, 23 inches, because between 22 and 23 there's like four or five hat sizes and it just never seems to be precise. If you're going to measure and you only have inches, go to the eighth of an inch. Um, but we prefer centimeters if you can. Okay, if you're gonna try to grasp this whole hat size thing, they basically just remember two things, just two. 57 and 59, that's it, okay? Lock that into your brain now. 57 and 59, you make a stupid song and it's locked in the brain. All right, Dude, no, no meth comments, okay? I'm just a weirdo. All right, here's the deal. 57 is a medium. 59 is a large, okay? Um, it's the most common size, like right in here. 75% of the world's population, I'm gonna say the population on Fifth Avenue, which is a world population, a lot of tourists, Fifth Avenue by Rockefeller Center, by Empire State Building, most people fit right in here, 58, 57, 58, 59. Okay, so if you're going to remember two sizes, you remember medium and large, it's a 57 and a 59. Those are your two most popular. 57 is like a skinny number, you know, that's skinny, that's a skinny size. A person who's a little slim, maybe uh, slim, no hair or something, there will be a medium, a typical guy. 59 is an average size. Large sounds big, but it's not. There's actually one, two, three sizes above it and two below it. So it's, it's right in the middle. If anything, it's closer to the bottom end, not the top end. So large is the middle seat. 59, 7 and 3 eighths is the American name for that. 7 and 3 eighths is my size. 59. Don't confuse that with 7 and 3 quarters. A lot of people do. You know, I say, what's your size? Uh, I think 7 and 3 quarters. 7 and 3 eighths? Yeah, 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 that's it. Seven and three quarters is a double X, so it's a rare size. If you've got a really big size and no hats ever fit you, you know your double X. You're a big guy, you know your double X. If you just think, ooh, I got a big head, most likely you're just a regular guy. Everybody comes in and says they think they got a big, big head. It's just like a, a thing, I don't know why. Maybe because you try hats on and they're too tight, but maybe cheap hats run tight, I guess. But anyway, it's, um, it's common. 58 is what they call a sample size. 
So when the companies make samples, um, you check out the samples at the beginning of the year, which we buy, they're seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter, 58. It's like the most common size, it's the tweener size. It's between medium, between large. It's kind of like the smaller part of large. It's a very common size, 58. So think about that, seven and a quarter, 58 is the most common thing. You can think about that. What I like to think about is, here, here's your sizes right here. Small, medium, large, extra large. 55, 57, 59, 61. So medium and large, just remember those two and the rest fall into place. 57 is medium, 59 is large. I'm gonna say it one more time. 57 is a stupid song. You'll remember this song because it sounds so wrong. Okay, just remember, I'm gonna be really ridiculous so you can remember this. Stupid song, it will stick in your mind. A medium is a 57 with a Mario accent. I'm doing that because I have a Mario pencil here. Mm, like a Mario mood, I'm using my kids' toys here, sorry. This is his whiteboard. Anyway, 57 is a medium, 59 is a large. Don't forget that, 55 small, 57 medium, 59 large, 61 XL. Now, another word for 61 extra large is 7 and 5 eighths. Ooh, let me fix that 5. That's not a good 5. 7 and 5 eighths is a common size. It's an extra large. You're a big guy, you know, you think you're an extra large. You could be a 7 and 5 eighths. An average size, 7 and 3 eighths. That's me. I've got a lot of curly hair, which takes up a lot of room. But when I cut my hair, I go down to a 7 and 1 eighth, you know. I generally buy my hats about a size or two big, though. So I like oversized stuff. Um, six and seven eighths is a very commonly requested size. A lot of people think they're six and seven eighths because they were told that at one point in their life they were a six and seven eighths. Maybe in their army uh, induction or something, they took that for their you know helmet or something. Six and seven eighths is a small. Everybody was that size once. And six and seven eighths has a nice ring to it and everybody remembers that six and seven eighths, six and seven eighths. But nobody's six and seven eighths unless you know you're tiny, tiny headed. Um, you know, like a little tiny old man or just, you know, somebody very small. A lot of children, um, you know, six, seven year old kids are bigger than that. Yeah, really. They're bigger than size adults small. Um, I think my son has a big head, but he was a 55 when he was like five years old or something. So it's possible, you know, it, these adult sizes go really small. Large is kind of average, like right in here. So we've got some teeny sizes and some humongous sizes here. I'm gonna say most hat shops probably deal with this and that's it around here. So everybody who's like a 59 or a 60 or even a 58, you know, even average sizes, they think the hats are tight and that's why they think they have big heads. The truth is, hats that you buy in the street run smaller because you know they're made in China out of paper, and they basically use less materials because it costs less. So they do like size smallish, medium, or like a medium 57. That's a typical street hat. Sometimes 58, but uh, yeah, big guys can't fit into those hats. It just usually doesn't happen. Now, let's talk about these sizes on the American size. Six and seven eighths is a small. Seven and one eighth is medium. It's that skinny size, remember? 57 medium is seven and one eighth. So if you're wearing a new era fitted baseball cap, you know these sizes, American sizes. Six and seven eighths is small. Seven and one eighth is a medium. Well, technically seven to seven and one eighth. Seven and a quarter to seven three eighths. Really seven three eighths is a pure large. Seven and a quarter is the bottom half of large. So if you're wearing a seven and a quarter uh, baseball cap, you're kind of like an average size. You're at the bottom end of large. The bigger or the medium part of large is seven and three eighths. I'm gonna say if you put on like a Panama hat that says large, it's probably gonna fit closer to a seven three eighths, not a quarter. Because they want all those large people to be able to fit it. You could always tighten it up a little bit if you're a quarter. So a seven and three eighths is a pure large. Um, when you pick up an extra large hat, it's marked XL, it's 7 and 5 eighths. That's a typical XL 61. But 7 and a half is that tweener size. It's a between a large and an XL. These guys know it because when they go to buy like a Stetson cap or something, you know, something's too small and something's too big. 
You gotta do a little stretching. Now stretching for caps, cloth is good. They call cloth like cotton or linen or a wool cap. You stretch it, that's it, it's stretched. Unless you're one of these, there's minority of people who sweat in hats and then they shrink in the sun or something. It doesn't happen a lot to most people. Basically, if you have a cap that's made out of cloth, it's better to stretch that if you're between sizes. If you're talking about a hat, go big, never go tight. Go with the bigger size when you're between and just pick up the back. You buy something called weather stripping. I use 5 eighths of an inch with um, polyfoam weather seal. That's a type of a uh, 5 eighths inch width um, foam padding that has sticky, like a sticker on the back. You peel off the paper, you know, like a sticker. Use a piece like as big as your pinky, stick it in there under the leather in the back. The longer the piece, the tighter the hat gets. If you had a hat that was too tight, you'll never want to do it again. Trust me. You don't want that hat choking you and just go big and tighten it up. It's smarter. Um, I'm able to adjust my hats with my haircuts and it's so much easier just having a little extra wiggle room to play with and adjust it rather than going tight. Now, if a hat fits you perfectly, great. That's great. But a lot of times it doesn't. Just go for the bigger size, guys. But rule is with caps, cloth caps, you really can just give it a little stretch. Generally, it'll work. Um, cloth is cloth. If you just take this, you know, you stretch it, it stays stretched. It might tighten up a tiny bit in the washer and dryer and stuff. But you don't really dry a hat. You don't put it in a dryer. So I would say a stretch is cool for like a, you know, an ivy cap or a newsboy or something. That's it. But stretch a hat that's old and you have no choice. But if you're buying a new one, don't ask the guy to stretch it. He's scamming you. Don't, just don't do it. Go bigger. The only time you don't want to do that with a hat is when the bigger one just looks so baggy and it's just horrible and it doesn't fit you because it's not tailored anymore. That's usually when you just a micro, you know, you had a tiny, tiny stretch. So then, yeah, you can stretch it and go with the smaller one. But uh, yeah, hats, pad down, caps, stretch. You can even stretch it over your knee. I got a video on that. All right, let's go over this again. Size medium is 57. Size large is 59. Okay, I made another dumb song, so you will remember it. 57 medium. 59 large, all right? 7 one eighth, 7 3 eighths. 57 one eighth, 59 is 3 eighths. So if I say, hey, uh, so-and-so, give me an eighth, um, I want this hat in a, what size do you want, an eighth? An eighth is a medium, it's 57 medium, 7 one eighth, okay? Let's go over those sizes again. As small as a 55, 6 and 7 eighths, we know this. You guys know this medium is 57. I did a bunch of dumb songs to get into your head. 7 and 1 eighth. Okay? There's a tweener size there, 56 in a size 7. But we're talking about these blue ones, the major sizes. 55, 57, 59, 61. Small, medium, large, extra large. 55, 57, 59, 61. Small, medium, large, XL. 6, 7 eighths. 7 and 1 eighth. 7 and 3 eighths. 7 and 5 eighths. Look at them. Soak them in. That's a small 6, 7 eighths. That's a medium 7 and 1 eighth. That's a large 7 and 3 eighths. It's a typical size 7 and 3 eighths. That's a large. It's Kevin's size. XL is 7 and 5 eighths. It's a bigger number. It's a big hat. Okay, you're going bigger now. 7 and 7 eighths is a 63. 62 is a very common size. A lot of hats stop here at 7 and 3 quarters. Most sets and stop at seven and three quarters. It's double X. It's as big as they go. Uh, I'm going to say there are a lot of size eight hats out there. Most eights, I'm going to say 99% or 90% of them are not real eights. Everybody's going to claim their eight is a real eight. All the companies are going to say that they're not. Especially if it has a leather sweatband inside there, it's going to be tighter. Measure your, your hats. Size eight hats are almost never an eight. A few, the biggest hats we have in our shop is called the Blues. The Blues is a light felt fedora made in New York. It's uh, like $110, but only the Blues in black, navy, gray, and brown fit huge. They're like a 64 or 65 or something. They have a cloth sweatband inside, and they're very flexible. 
So what happens, it's an eight, and then it's like bang, this two. If a hat is stiff, it's not gonna fit you big. If it's a stiff, snappy hat, forget it. It won't fit you if you're a real eight. If it has a leather sweatband in it, chances are it's not gonna fit you, most likely. It's a custom job, maybe. Even then, these guys don't have the blocks for a true eight to make it. They make it like a seven three quarters and then you stretch it or something. Yeah. Um, they just don't have the blocks. Our biggest, biggest straw hat is a hat called the Aruba Milan, Aruba Milan. The Aruba is a very stretchy hemp hat on Biltmore. It's got a deep, deep crown, a wide crown, really deep. It's great for big guys. The big brim comes in blue straw, uh, grayish, slate blue, gray straw, and a natural eggshell with a blue band. The uh, Aruba Milan hat is so big, it's like a true eight. And then all the other hats I have that are double X's, 64's, eights, whatever, they're way down there to the seven three quarters. Everybody, all the big brands, they all claim that, you know, they're eights, like a cowboy hat, but there's an eight rancher, there's eight this, there's eight that. Nobody's eight is a real eight. They just, they don't really have them. And yeah, my cheapest hat in the store is, is an eight and bigger because it's got no leather inside and it's super flexible. So if you're really big and you really think you can't get into a double X and stuff, um, you measure yourself at the eyebrows and you're getting something like 64 centimeters, then you need the blues, the blues fedora. Uh, just go to jjhatcenter.com and look at the blues, get it in black, navy, brown, or gray. It's like a Sinatra hat, super, super big. The inside of the hat is like this big. It's, it's like a triple X and then some. Uh, if you want a straw, get the Aruba Milan. Now, there are some people who go below seven and six and seven eighths. There's a six and three quarters, otherwise known as a 54 centimeters. Very few people sell them or carry them. Most likely, you want a six and seven eighths or a size small that just runs tight. We have hats that just run really small. They're like a whole size too small. And then we have hats that are like from Ireland that run huge. Irish tweeds from Jonathan Richards, they run a whole size over. So their double X is like an eight. Um, what else? Yeah, their double X is an eight because the hat runs big. So it's more, it's less about the numbers, it's more about how the hat runs. If you want the biggest thing in the shop, ask somebody who's been there a long time and knows what they're talking about and say, what's the biggest thing in here? Um, if you're talking about JJ's, I told you the two biggest hats, the blues in those four colors only, and the Milan, the uh, Aruba Milan. Also, the, um, the Biltmore makes some short brims, uh, one called the Bebop and one called the Biltmore Diamonds. Two short brim pork pies and straws that run huge. It's the same flexible straw, same sizing. Their double X's in the Biltmore Diamond and the Biltmore the Bebop are both huge also. I'm going to say their eights. I think the Milan Aruba is the biggest. Anyway, you've got it, right? 57 is medium. 59 is large, all right? Talking about 718, 738s. Sorry to be prejudiced against you seven, seven and quarters, seven and a half, and seven and three quarters, but it, I like to keep it simple. Small, medium, large, extra large. 55, 57, 59, 61. You guys got it by now. If you really stood through, sat through this entire boring whiteboard video with me singing these dumb, songs with bad accents, you definitely are dedicated and you get an A plus on this. So um, thanks for sticking around and uh, 